If you are sitting out there watching this video, considering if it's too late for you to reverse your hair loss, I've collected three great examples in this video of guys who fought their hair loss at a time where Honestly, most people probably would have given up. Not only will we take a look at their before and after, we are also going to have a look at their protocol and I'll explain the different approaches so that you sitting out there with the questions will know what they did, why they did it, and if you can still manage to probably reverse your own hair loss. I saved the wildest transformation for the end, so don't let yourself miss out on this one. The first guy we're going to take a look at is this handsome beast. He is 29 years old and I finally found a guy who had the same story as me more or less regarding hair loss and unfortunately not seeing it. He wrote, I didn't notice I was losing hair until I watched a video of myself deadlifting and saw a huge gap in the temple area. I also subsequently noticed thinning in the crown area and I could definitely tell that I was not able to do my hair the same way to in the morning as I used to. But for some reason, I either didn't realize what was happening or I subconsciously just ignored the problem. Don't worry, because I did the exact same thing around your age. Also finally noticing my hair loss around 28 year old ish because I thought my hair was just acting weird. Unfortunately, too many guys like this subject and me are just waiting way too long. And when I see guys with a Norwood one going nuts on Tressless asking about Rutasteride and Finasteride, Minoxidil, whatever, I'm happy to see that they're doing something in a good, timely manner instead of guys like me and him who has to fight the really hard uphill fight. He then decided that it was time to do something about this issue and decided to go on oral minoxidil at 2.5 milligrams in November 2023 and to testoride at 0 0.5 milligrams in January 2024. And from here, let's just fast forward to 2024, September, almost one year later. I don't know about you out there, but if I were giving this for free one year after I decided to finally start fighting my own hair loss, I would have been overly happy. Like my journey was way harder than this. He does complain about his temples not being perfect and he's really set on getting a hair transplant one year later. But let's put the hair transplant aside for a second. We are talking about eight months on the test ride and only 10 months on oral minoxidil. And he went from this to this. But if that is not enough for you, let's take a look at what happens if you up the dosage a little bit. The next dude is 27 years old using 0.5 milligrams to test right and 5 milligram oral minoxidil dosage on top of his added microneedling at 1.5 millimeter every 14th day, so every second week. The 5 milligram oral minoxidil and 1.5 millimeter microneedling is pushing the ceiling for each treatment, if you ask me. But let's just see what actually happens to him. So while I'm editing this video, I realized that some of the video footage has been damaged. So that's bad. And I'm in Romania and I'm not home. So I decided to just quickly record something new on my computer screen here. So I hope you'll bear with me. We'll just quickly continue. If we just quickly take a look at his before and after, you can see a remarkable change in his hairline and his hair density. Honestly, I think that I am at his baseline value right now, less my hair looks. When I style it, it looks way different, of course, obviously. But this is definitely the power of oral minoxidil, as you see. This is a massive change for him. And I'm using Tutasteride and IU584-1, but oral minoxidil definitely changed his hairline to something entirely different. Unfortunately for me, all minoxidil is not a very good option since I live in Finland and I can barely get shampoo with Kichukon and Seoul. And honestly, the Dutasteride, I have to get it from somewhere else. But if you live in the States and you feel like all minoxidil and Dutasteride is the combination for you and you want it now, there's a link for a company in my description. They will help you get the prescription you need and they will also supply you with one pill that contains not only Dutasteride but also Minoxidil. And the best part is the pills are customized for every person to fight off their hair loss. But what do you do if you live in a country where all Minoxidil is not an option like me? The last case is a great example on how far you can get without all Minoxidil and Dutasteride, which is usually legal here in Europe. He titled his Reddit post, 
an insane RU58841 success story. And I really can't argue considering the protocol and the results are just amazing. I'm just gonna jump straight into this one and show some pictures and the protocol. He started out as I would see as a poor Norwood 5. Top is completely transparent. So he went on the following. All minoxidil one milligram a day, topical minoxidil one milliliter a day, all finasteride 0.25 milligrams a day, RU58841 at 1.75 milliliters a day, 0.5 in the morning and another 1.25 in the evening. And the key to console shampoo, one to two times a week. Let's take a look at his pictures and then we can discuss the protocol. We have June 2023, aggressive hair loss and what most people would believe is not reversible. August 2023, no changes if you ask me. I think it has a lot to do with the angle here, to be honest, but I'm gonna include this because this is his post. September 2023. Now here we are starting to see a ton of small miniature baby hairs growing from his temple. We might also notice that his tan line is stopping close to his hairline, which means improvement in density. January 2024. It's been six months and the dude looks completely different. Temple recession is still huge, but density looks far better in my opinion. I'm gonna just fast forward to October 2024, one year after he started this protocol, the dude is transformed. It's amazing what hair loss actually can do for your face and how you look. One year apart and look at the massive difference. If I had to rate his look, he went from a king tree to at least a seven. And once again, a good reminder of why we should care for our hairline because it does define a lot of your looks. That's just the truth of it, guys. Let's talk about his protocol for a second. First of all, all minoxidil, one milligram a day. I think this is okay, but what is the point when he's adding another one milliliter of minoxidil a day on the topical scalp? I would just stick with the topical or the oral version. Being in Europe, take the topical, it's legal. No reason for both, but okay, it worked out for him, so what am I to critique this approach? Second, all finasteride at 0.25 milligrams a day. That is not a lot, but considering the fact that he added RU58841 in a fairly strong dose, I think it is enough to reduce his systemic DHC a bit this way. He also explains in the comment section that he had side effects from one milligram of finasteride a day, hence why it dropped to 0.25, which is a good thing for you guys out there who is also experiencing side effects. You can still make it work. RU58841, 1.75 milliliters a day, 0.5 in the morning, and then the other 1.25 milliliters in the evening. That is a fairly strong dose at 80 milligrams a day, which means the same dose that I'm using at the moment. I just used the enhanced version from Anagen Inc. You can actually see them over that shelf. And if you want to check it out for yourself, get a 10% discount. There's a link in the description. And if you use the code Blueprint at the checkout, you get the 10% discount on your whole order at Anagen Inc. That is what I use. I prefer them. I don't know what he used, but you know, most things work for you. That is just an offer. And the last part of his protocol, Kids Conan Soul Shampoo, one to two times a week, which for me is personally a major game changer for the texture and health of your hair, especially mine. I use Kids Conan Soul every day when I'm going out and I need to look good because it just makes my hair look better. That's the end of it. But listen up, because this is important. All three of these cases today had horrible starting points and managed with different techniques to get back to a decent baseline. But the biggest takeaway for you guys today is going to be, one, it is never too late to start fighting hair loss. Two, the best time to start fighting your hair loss was five years ago. The second best time is today. There are links in the description for all of the cases. There are links for the tools they use, whether it being minoxidil, RU584, dutasteride, finasteride, and everything you need if you don't know where to start and what to do. So if you're dead serious about saving your hairline but don't know where to start, this is definitely the video.